Hello, World Civilization uh, 106 class uh, for the summer session. Welcome to week three. Um, so, um, it looks like most of you are following the, the, the weekly work objectives well and the instructions and are seeing that I grade quickly and that the grade that you have is actually starting off very strong. For those of you who are having any confusion or issues or doubts listening to this uh, announcement and are not happy with where your grades are at or you're just not sure, like you're just you're feeling disoriented, any kind of issues, right now you just need to contact me. We can settle any of this and we can fix it as, as soon as possible. So um, none of this is, is something that can't be resolved, especially starting off right off the bat as new in the uh, you know with the, with the semester so um let's address anything that is not going according to plan uh, right now um i will be working extra these next two weeks and then after that i'll be mainly just i, I won't be working my other job and i'll be just focusing on this class so um i'll have even more flexibility to help you out in the next uh, uh after in, in about two weeks. Um, so, okay, um, now we're moving into uh, ancient Mesopotamia. Um, this is very interesting. Um, we're covering um, the history of a part of the world um, that in modern times many associate with war, um, but we're seeing that it's more than that. And um, uh, I hope that you get to enjoy and, and find insightful uh, this section. I'm having you read, uh, take a look at the Epic of Gilgamesh and the story of the flood and the Bible. Um, you can use any translation of the Bible you want. I provided a link to the one that I had there. Um, uh, there's a lot of Bible translations and some of you, if you are a Bible reader, will have one that you prefer. Um, uh, I didn't put the King James um, because uh, for many that's a, that's a really special one, but it also uses the uh, Shakespearean type uh, era language and it's not easy to read for a lot of people. And my job is to educate you guys and make things clear and concise uh, over other kind of uh, uh, interests like poeticness or something. But by the way, I. I there, there is a value in poeticness. And if you take my Western Civ class, I have you watch a documentary on the creation of the King James Bible, which is a whole other topic. Okay, anyhow. So you're going to look at the Epic of Gilgamesh and then you're going to compare it with the Bible. And some of this you've already, some of you will have known about this. Others will be shocked. Um, uh, and, and so this is going to be for the discussion that's due on Thursday. And then you have the video notes and the paper due on Sunday. That is also in the weekly work objectives. Um, so I'm letting you know here in this announcement and reminding you to take a look um, in your uh, the, in the module. Um, and so that's all I have to say for that right now. Oh, see, I didn't put my phone on on mute. Uh, I hope you're all having a great week, and we'll be in touch.